Hi, I'm Kathy Donnell, park ranger with Wasatch Mountain State Park, and I'm here today to teach you how to snowshoe properly. Let's go inside and show you the equipment. So as you can see, we have a whole bunch of different kinds of snowshoes that you can try out here. We have a bunch of different bindings on these snowshoes. So the best way to start before you buy snowshoes is to even just come here and try them out and check out the different binding to, bindings to see which ones you like best. You gotta remember that your hands are probably gonna be cold, you're gonna be wet, gonna be snowy, so you just wanna make sure you can maneuver the bindings uh, when with whatever kind of snowshoe you have. So let's talk real quick about layers um, or clothing. When you're going outside, you wanna have layers on because you're gonna be walking, uh, sweating, so you wanna be sure you can take layers off. I always wear kind of a just a body layer and then either a sweatshirt or a coat, a wind jacket, something light that I can take on and off. Also with pants and gaiters when you're wearing snowshoes, um, a lot of times you'll go off trail because uh, you can and it's great fun to go off trail, but you wanna make sure your boots are covered with gaiters so you don't get wet. We also have uh, poles that you can use um, for snowshoeing. You don't need poles, but I found that it gives you a good cardio workout, gives your arms a little bit more workout take some of the pressure off your legs and it helps with balance too. Okay, so I'm gonna grab these snowshoes. Uh, when you're looking at snowshoes, you wanna think about where you're going, if you're climbing, if you're going through deep powder or pack trails, also body size, shoe size. So these are pretty uh, versatile. So I'm gonna choose these, they're easy to get on. Um, and all you're gonna do is put them on the ground, you're gonna stick your foot inside the binding and then these will just uh, you just pull one these are nice because you just pull one strap and it tightens up around your foot and then the back uh, strap goes around your heel and you just pull on it and it will latch in one of the holes and the friction around your heel will keep it on your foot so then I'll put the other one on so I'm just gonna stick my foot in there wiggle it in And you want them nice and tight so they stay on your foot. And then this goes around the back and just got to kind of grunt and put it on and you're ready to go. Okay, let's grab our poles and let's head outside. All right, as we're walking to the trail, I thought I'd tell you a couple things that I like about snowshoeing. And that is one, it gets you outside in the winter time. Trails look different. Um, from when you're hiking in the summertime. So it's a good way to get some exercise and to get outside. And then also it's a great family activity. It's low impact, it's fairly inexpensive, and it's a great way to get out with your family and have some fun. So I just wanna remind everybody that when you're snowshoeing here at Wasatch Mountain State Park, you go up on the trails, up on the mountain. We don't allow people to snowshoe on the cross country ski trail. All right, so one of the great things about snowshoes is that you have these big old cleats on the bottom of your shoes and so if you're walking on ice or going up hills, it's great. So I'm just gonna demonstrate how to go up a little hill and in, you just wanna just kinda put your feet down in cause those cleats are gonna get, see how I'm just kinda kicking my feet in and that, that will grip the snow and the ice and then you're up on the hill. And same thing going down, you're just gonna stick that foot down on the snow pretty good and it will pretty much stop you from sliding. So if you notice my foot, when I lift up my foot, you'll see that the heel stays down. So you wanna be really careful when you're walking in snowshoes that you're always going forward. So, and you're just gonna walk normal. Um, but if I were to back up, my heel is probably gonna catch the snow and it's gonna make me fall down. So I just wanna make sure I'm going forward. And then if I have to turn, I can turn around like this in a forward motion. But otherwise, you're just gonna pretty much walk normal. You're gonna alternate with your hands, kind of like you're running. Um, and you don't wanna walk wide. You don't want wide steps because you're gonna put a lot of pressure on your hip flexors and you're gonna have really sore hips. So you just wanna walk normal as you're snowshoeing. Hey, thanks for coming today to learn how to snowshoe. If you have questions about snowshoeing, visit the visitor center or the website for pricing and upcoming snowshoe events. Thanks for joining us.